Hello everyone, this is Dane here from LockandMike.com. Um, today I'm doing a video on how to flash, backup, and restore a custom ROM. Just in case if you want to back it up or something happens, you can always restore it. First, when you root your device, make sure you download ROM Manager. ROM Manager is where you flash and recover your device is a must have. I'm going to tell you right now, a must have. You must have this app. It's not a want or option, a must have. And it really keeps your phone from getting you losing your phone. This works for any Android device, flash clockwork, clockwork mob recovery. To flash the device to reboot the recovery. And I'm going to show you how to reboot the recovery in case the phone ain't least coming on or something, whatever. First, let's flash our device. When you first uh, root your device, flash your Android device, flash it. To flash your Android device, you hit flash, flash, flash cloud recovery, confirm phone. You hit your phone, and when you hit it, you hit the device that it comes with, when you click it, it's going to flash it. And it flash, you're going to see right up here where it's going to try to download. It's going to be a green thing that's going to come by. And it's going to download, download and flash your phone. You do that, when you first root your device, flash it in order to make it official and make the root a lot more easier. Next, we're going to back up our device but first before we back up and use our manager go into our we go to our recovery to back our device up let's use as back of our data our clockwork recovery was supposed to back up all your applications and data and everything it don't really work with that I have problems with that um, so that's why I don't use it to do that because of that issue so I use my backup pro or you can use titanium backup I do have a video for titanium backup on my youtube channel how to backup I do have a video for it I don't use it I don't it's not what I need on set for my standards I use my backup pro so you can use either one of them I'm gonna show you I use both of them so we go to my backup pro this is video part one most likely it's gonna be video one for how to flash and back up. The next video is going to be for how to restore. Because this is a very long video. So to back up your device, on my backup pro, you go to click backup. You have backup, restore, manage, view, schedule, my toolbox. So we go to backup. Let's go to backup application and media. Local or online. Oh, I use local for SD card or online takes much longer. So I click my applications and photos. Hit OK. Um, six or six. Hit OK. Applications and data. Hit both of them. Let this back up. And to prove to you that it works, I'm going to delete a couple of my applications. The pre this works, I'm going to delete a couple of my apps. The root your device, you go to my website, www.lockamite.com. Go to the how to section and go to Android, and we have in that section how to root your device. Now we'll have be making a video on my backup pro review. I made one for titanium backup already. See, we backed up. So we hit OK. We go back. And for titanium backup, you do the same thing. You click it. I won't show you how to back this one up because I don't want to take all the time up. You go to backup. We go to menu. As you can see, menu. And as you can see, Right there, backup all system, all user applications, backup all user data, 
or run back of a system data and user apps we all run and we hit right here and it backs up everything I'm not gonna click it because it's gonna take you much longer to do so you can't use titanium backup if you don't use titanium you can watch my video and I will show you how to back it up so go I will have the link and how to back up using titanium backup but to prove to you that this does work I'm going to let's say I'm going to delete application can't delete let's go into our market wait I can't go to market let's go to settings applications manage applications let's find one that's a lead group group on. That's gonna start our one. Now let's go to another one. Let's delete Skyfire. I'm showing this to you to prove to you to you that my backup proof do work and that's how I use the backup applications. So now let's go into our recovery and back up our whole system, back up our ROM. You can do that by two ways. You go to ROM Manager and hit Reboot into Recovery. You hit Reboot into Recovery and hit Yes. Okay, sorry guys, my phone had died on me. So um, we left off where we was inside of. Run manager because we're about to reboot into recovery. We left off inside here, and like I said, to reboot into recovery, you click reboot into recovery. Click on that, and you hit OK. As you can see, this is Cockworth Recovery. Um, let's go to our list of stuff. So let's zoom in a little bit. So you can zoom in here. Okay. First one, I don't know if you, can't, you can't really see that, so I'm going to scale down. The boot system. That's it's just in case. Well, when you first root to the device, it's always good to go straight to your recovery to make sure it's working. But that's how you reboot your device. Apply. The next one is apply SD update. And you have an update for your um, ROM. Next one is wipe data for factory reset. You already know that one is by hard. That's to wipe all everything and go back to factory. Install zip from SD card. That's if you want to install your the zip. Next one is mouse and storage and advanced. So we're gonna go ahead and back up our device. So we go down to backup, backup and restore. We hit the home button, and the first one is backup. The next one is restore, and the next one is re advanced restore. You don't need to go to advanced restore until I'm gonna show you what that means when you go to the store. So we hit backup, hit the home button to go to backup. So now it's back on my device. So this video is going to show you. So you want to, you can watch it backup if you want to.